Why aren't more people using Linux? This is a topic I have covered before, but I thought I would cover it again more in depth, and see exactly why Linux has failed to capture any real momentum or popularity with desktop users. Firstly, Linux is not shipped or pre-installed on computers, Windows and Mac OS are the two most commonly seen systems shipped by big hardware manufacturers, the latter being exclusively available to Apple-specific hardware. If Linux was shipped on computers, people would already be using it, but instead, you are forced to create a bootable medium and then install the Linux operating system onto your existing hardware, and for some people, this can be a daunting and not so intuitive experience, so most people are probably not even aware that Linux exists, which also makes it harder to give Linux some momentum, it's only us tech bros who know about Linux, and even go as far as to using it. Secondly, Linux lacks a lot of major proprietary software, there is no Microsoft Office or Adobe Suite for Linux, and many other popular apps also do not work on Linux natively, the same goes for many popular games on Valve's Steam client, and even with the recent debut of the Steam Deck, Linux still hasn't gotten anywhere near Windows in terms of good gaming, it's not optimized for that sort of thing, and many developers don't want to spend time, money, and effort, developing their bit of kit for a very unpopular operating system, that is only used by about 3-4% to of people worldwide. Thirdly, Linux has a lot of fragmentation, and while this gives you a ton of variety and choice, it can also make settling in on a particular distro somewhat difficult and daunting, as you won't know what best suits your needs, and since Linux is open source, it allows anyone to do some dirty work under the hood and redistribute the new source code, it's a bit like working on an old car and then turning it into a new car, except the car still has its original body, interior etc., that's essentially what Linux lets you do, although the level of expertise and high technical skill needed to do such things is beyond most people's understanding, and you beginners migrating to Linux are really just scratching the surface, you're not actually doing any real deep level system modifying, but you can still use it like any other operating system, albeit you're limited to free and open source software on Linux although some paid for programs and apps exist for Linux as well. Finally, Linux is a technically inclined system, you have to be willing to learn what commands are, how to use them, how they work, etc. Some things can only be done inside the terminal, and generally speaking, if something goes wrong in Linux, it's a lot harder to fix, as you're having to rely on a community of people, where a person will hopefully have the right answer for your issue. And sadly, this is not always the case, as everyone who uses Linux is on a different distro, so if your system breaks or stops working, it's on you to fix it, the jokes are on you, not me, says the Linux penguin. Some hardware manufacturers also make their driver source code closed source, so this makes porting certain drivers to Linux difficult, if not, impossible, so many distros rely on open source drivers, unless the native driver is available for your specific distribution of Linux, and some plug and play software may not work as expected in Linux, for instance, a wireless card for connecting to Wi-Fi may not work properly, or it may need some drivers installed to get it working, so due to the hardware and software limitations of Linux, it is simply not an option for 99.9% .9 of desktop users, only 0.01% will have any sort of interest in using it, and even then, you gotta be somewhat smart with your tech skills, you have to understand some basic coding languages, and understand what Linux is, and accept that you cannot run proprietary Windows only software on Linux, and if you do wish to do that, you will likely run into massive problems that render the software unusable. Layers such as Wine and Virtual Machines are really only a temporary fix, a permanent solution is to use a native app that supports Linux, and sadly, not all proprietary software has a free and open source equivalent, especially in the music and gaming industries, but also amongst many other industries, and this is why more people will not move to Linux. 
there are simply too many downsides, which for most people will outweigh the benefits of using Linux. Too many rely on Windows because it's the only OS with the largest, greatest, and most accessible library of software. About 100 million apps exist for Windows natively, compare that to Mac OS's 30 plus million apps, and Linux only has a measly 10 million, give or take a few million, so it goes to show you why you're forced into using Windows if you want to do certain things, you just cannot do some things on Mac, Linux, and other systems, which is most unfortunate but it is what it is, and there is nothing you can do about it. Microsoft, Google and Apple all have their share of the pie, and Linux is like a nobody in the grand scheme of things, it's the homeless person you see on the street but completely ignore, or blissfully pass by being totally unaware of its existence, that's essentially Linux in the US market share pie, so the answer to the question, why don't more people use Linux, is pretty simple. Linux lacks the software and hardware support people rely on, on a daily basis, and many free alternatives do not cut the mustard for those people, they are stuck with what they have got and ain't got not choice but to be Microsoft's bitch, and it's true, Microsoft really is making their consumers their bitches, they are taking all the control and ownership out of the consumers hands, and they are adding every little dirty spying tool kits they can get their filthy hands on, and Microsoft wants to force you to use their garbage artificial intelligence service. They want it so deeply integrated that it will be completely unremovable in Windows, just goes to show you what corporate greed does in the end, what was once a revolutionary and game changing product has now turned into a diminishing product that keeps on getting worse and worse, and as Windows is now a service, and not an operating system, this is pushing some people to move to Linux, as Linux offers them a free, open source, and fully customizable OS that has no bloat, no spyware, no bullshit like that, and you own it, you control it, there are no forced updates or bloat in the world of Linux, it's all about you and your experience, you're in the driver's seat so to speak, but Linux sadly lacks much of the required apps and programs people need to use on a day to day basis, and this makes switching impossible for almost everyone. And if it were not for Microsoft's dominance and tight grip on the market share, Linux could have potentially been more successful in the desktop market, but now we are also seeing competition from Google's Linux-based operating system, Chrome OS, and other OSs such as Haiku OS have gained a cult following of sorts as well, so Microsoft is slowly losing their dominance to other competitors such as Apple and Google. And if they keep degrading Windows and making it more crappy, this is only going to get worse for them. So, why do you think more people are not using Linux? Please tell me in the comment section below. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.